can get up on top of her like that. Grab her by her handles. Bottle. Again, I need money. All right, Brad, what we got going on today? Well, here at Brad's uh, movie studios and uh, filming exotics, we might have done some damage to the toilet because, you know, Hoonigans, we break everything. So today we're going to have how to replace your toilet with these three tools under $100. So you guys can look to the Home Depot receipt. We spent uh, $89 on a toilet and I believe it was $5 on the wax ring. So it was right around $100. Look at the other stuff was the stuff for the coil brackets. But uh, $100, that's what it costs to go to Home Depot and buy a toilet. All right? Now, all the plumbers out there are gonna hate me right now. I'm probably gonna get beat up. We charge $500 plus to bring a shitty ass toilet to your house and to install it. Now, you can spend $500 plus on just a toilet. So we could end up charging you a thousand. It usually is anywhere from three to five hundred dollars to do the installation. So hold your britches because this is how easy this really is. Come on. Came to the toilet this morning and I noticed you guys may have these problems, but it's a rocking. Can't have a rocking toilet. That's no good. Well, it broke. The bolts broke. This bolt's actually good. The other bolts broke, but it broke on the porcelain, so it's not holding anything. Don't think that's poop, you guys. That's actually uh, wax. Everybody's like, ugh, that's poop. No, that's actually the wax ring. We'll talk about that. Uh, let's take these bolts out. So our first tool of the day will be this guy right here. And I'm being nice, because I usually use the um, channel lock. <laughs> and this is why I wear my gloves, because I really don't care about what's going to touch my fingers if I have gloves on. Oh, first thing you guys gotta do, forgot to tell you guys this, turn the water off. So right here, you guys, you have a pipe coming out of your wall, out of your floor, out of your cabinet, and there should be a valve that if you shut, it turns the water off. Now, a lot of times you shut this valve and the water doesn't turn off, and you're screwed, you're not screwed. Just go out to the front of the house and turn your main water off, and then go ahead and just bleed all of your water. So now we know the water's off, and if we flush this, that water that's in there should not refill. So we're gonna kind of just drain the toilet. We're gonna hold this flusher valve down. Thank God I have a, a, a tile floor. If you don't have a carpet in your house, you're gonna need to make a pathway out of your house because when you pull this out, it's gonna leak, not shitty water, it's gonna leak the, that water out when we pull it out because it's still stuck in here. So remember, if you're doing this, make a pathway to the outside of your house so when you carry this out, it doesn't leak all over your carpet and shit. All right. So we turn the water off. We are now going to disconnect the toilet from the wall. These should be hand tight. It's this plastic right here. If it's any more than hand tight, then you had some gorilla come in and put it in. It shouldn't be more than just hand tight. It's a plastic piece. Now, don't be afraid. You're going to see some water fall out. That's fine. As long as water's not squirting out of here, you're good. Because that means this valve closed. See what I'm saying? Mm. We could squirt the water, watch. So if that valve's leaking, you might just need to get that valve replaced. Replace this valve, which means you turn the water off in the main, and you unscrew this part, and you screw it back on. It's that easy. All right, so let's get this nut off here, which is funny, because it's not even really doing anything. But we're gonna replace all these bolts, the hardware. We're gonna do everything. We're not gonna just slam another toilet on. We're gonna do the whole shebang. See what's weird is this toilet, ugh, there it goes. All right, so both of these bolts are broke. So now, this is called a toilet waddle. This is the fucking coolest thing you'll ever learn. Clear your pathway, and for us weak guys that don't have a lot of energy or strength, you gotta do the toilet waddle. All right, you ready for this? It's a technique, guys. It's all about how you grab her. Get up on top of her like that. Grab her by her handles. Bottle. Yeehaw! Right, for all you guys who are worried about a race seat, we're gonna put her in here. Plumb a little hole down there. Cause Gary's scared shitless. 
And that way when he's riding, he can just flush it right down. All right. We reuse everything around here. This is your wax ring. What you guys were all worried about over there being like shit of poo-poo coming out. That's actually the wax ring. That's this shit right here. It's just wax. Your poo-poo is going down there. It's not going on this. If it's going on this, it's going out here and you've got a problem. So let's take this bolt out for now. This is nasty. This is the part where you're like, because you're kind of like digging. So what I do is I open this box up so I have a place for it to put all this crap. But we need to dig all of this out right here. I probably could have chose a better screwdriver to do this with because this is a super expensive screwdriver. Ugh. Yummy! Yummy! So that's not shit, you guys. That's just all wax. That's all wax right there. Ugh. See, what I'm trying to do is get this bolt head off. I'll probably reuse that bolt. It's still good. But this side here... Yeah. Two wax rings. That's no good. Probably don't want two wax rings. I don't know why I did that. But there's a little ear that we're trying to dig to. Right there. And this is the other ear right here that you get did to dug to. You can see if we get this bolt out. There we go. It's out. Bammo. So these are the bolts, the key bolts. All right, got some napkins. The good thing about this is, when you guys replace your toilet, I'll, show, I'll describe what the toilets are. There's different roughs. Rough is how far this is off the wall. There's a 10 inch rough and there's a 12 inch rough. This is the 12 inch rough, which you're lucky because the 10 inch rough is more expensive. There's also what's called elongated bowls and round bowls. I have to use a round bowl because my bathroom is so small, but on bigger bathrooms, you kind of want the elongated bowl. It gives you a bigger area to piss in. <laughs> and then my personal favorite is handicap. If you can buy your toilet in a handicap version, handicap version doesn't mean it's got like handles on the side. It means that it's 17 inches tall. It's taller. So that you're not bending your knees to sit down on. So if you can buy a toilet that's handicapped, buy a toilet that's handicapped. It's way better. So this is, and I forgot to buy it, the dap. It goes around the edge of the, the toilet. I need to actually replace that stuff. So there it is. Ugh, looks like shit, but it's a lot better than it was. Let's throw this in the grass trash. All right, so now we're gonna put bolts on. These T-bolts slide in like this. Well, let's try this one, this will be easier. See how it goes like that? Okay, T-bolt goes like, we gotta dig a little more out. This is why I said flat blade screwdriver is probably your best friend in this job, because you use it a lot. Oh, there we go. All right, so now I use these first bolts, which a lot of people don't on this washer and I'll get another set of bolts for the top just because I like to hold these uh, steady. Some people just put the bolts in and let them swing and then tighten it down. I'm not a big believer on that one. So I waste a set of these nuts and bolts down here just like that to hold that thing steady and perfect. 
it's no big deal. I got another set in the garage. Or else that boat's swinging around while you're trying to slide the toilet. Yeah, when you're sliding the toilet on, it makes it more difficult, which you don't have to because once it pulls up, it holds it tight. It's just my little trick that I used to use. So, again, it's all preference. Okay, so now you got your gasket. This is the part that everybody was all, Ooh. My favorite thing to do with the new plumbers in the place was get them to bet me $100 that I wouldn't lick this. So dude, they'd be like, you won't lick that for a hundred bucks. You're like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, so they gave me a rack ring in this kit, which I was afraid of, but they do. So here's all those parts. That's what's kind of cool about this new hundred dollar toilet is they literally give you everything you need. Now what the cool part is, is they just gave me the hardware that I was looking for, remember? Mm. So now I have the hardware that I want. So we're cool. There's another wax ring if we needed to double it up. Because I'll show you, it's called the rock trick when we got on there to know if it's sealed or not. So we might use this. Um, these are the beauty caps. They go on top. That would be the ring that goes in between the tank and the top. So. This is the tank. Basically this is what fills the, the shitter. All right, so. Gotta be very careful, cause I have tile and if I set this down, you're, you'll crack it real, 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 real easy. So be super careful if you're setting this thing down on regular floor. I like to assemble my toilet out here, not in the bathroom, just cause you got a lot of room. If you try to go put the base down and put all this shit together, you're just fighting a bunch of stuff. So cool thing, came with a toilet seat. That's surprising. Most places they want to charge you the two toilet seat extra, everything's extra. You very rarely get all your parts. That's the lid. Let me grab my screwdriver. Let me go see if anybody wants his old toilet, you know? No. A shot. Yeah. The water feels bad. I'll show you the cool thing to do with it in my trash can. We'll toss it in and then you like take the um, big sledgehammer and you throw it up in the air and you let it hit it and it goes no way. Yeah, and then it's all into pieces and it fits in the trash. <laughs> How many toilets would you say you've changed, Brad? Okay, so we did hotels in San Diego and these hotels had 200 room fucking... So that's 200 toilets in a hotel that I had to set. 200 sinks. That was one hotel. All right, so that's just a little gasket there, kind of? Yeah, so this gasket is what seals this nut. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that. And it seals the water dumping into here. So. Again, be careful when you guys tighten these things up. They don't have to be like <laughs> tight, because you will crack the porcelain. You kind of just want to see, if you see down here, right here, you see where this is this and it's not touching, you're going to want to seat it down to where it almost touches. That's about as tight as you want to go. But I do know, and you're gonna laugh about this, there's technology in the toilets. So, this is the trap. You see that? That's actually the trap. So what it does is it holds fluid there, and then when more fluid gets in, it pushes the fluid that's there over this hump, which is all you're pooping back down. They have a toilet that you can fill it up with golf balls and flush it, and all the golf balls go down. Because they spent the time and the technology on making it go down. So the more expensive the toilet usually has to do with how much they spent on flushing applications, flow. I guess. The, the flow. And then the worst part is like all our toilets are 1.6 gallons or less. I think they're actually 1.3. Back in the day, they were 2.0. So like you could take a big healthy turd, hit the toilet, ba-boom. Yeah, nowadays it's like a two or three flush deal sometimes. You get a couple. You got, couple you got to hit the handle like three times and get some big one. To, Poor uh, Gary King, I was sitting there like breaking that. Uh, what do you broke think broke that toilet? Yeah. <laughs> so now we're back down to that toilet waddle that we talked about. This is the best thing ever. So here you guys are. The handles are right here. You see that? That's perfect for your handles. You see the little indentations right there? And if you get your legs over in the thin part, you're still about above your shoulders mm -hmm. and you're lifting with your knees. So, so you want to kind of straddle this. it. See like this? I'm not using my back. I was taught this by this old dude. I was like, that's the greatest thing ever. Now you align it, you just look down and you get the holes aligned with the, the lines and it goes down. Oops, I got this one a little bit wrong. Uh, 
Okay, so see how it didn't, see how it's like no whoosh, no squish? Like it didn't squish? That means that that wax ring's not tall enough. So what's happening is, so you want to feel a little cushion when you set it down. Yeah, if you don't see it, see, and you can tell right here, like if we would have put it on, we'd have been screwed because it didn't squish it. You see what I'm saying? So that's why there was two wax rings on it when we took it off. Now I knocked this bolt off. I'm going to tighten this bolt back down. We're going to take that other wax ring. We're going to double up the wax ring. And that's because I added tile to my floor and it raised my floor. So for you guys that are wondering why I have to use two wax rings, it's because of this tile. We actually put tile in and it um, it caused it to do that. With only one wax ring, it just wouldn't be sealing, right? It wouldn't be sealing. If you flushed it, all the water would just go all the way on the floor. You'd have water everywhere. <laughs> so now you see, when we put it back down again, we should be like squishy, squishy. We should feel the squish. Okay, see, look at how we're on the wax ring. And we're squishing down. Squish. See how like that has that squish now? Now we're good. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be. So now I'm trying to look to say that it's not like crooked, because you don't want to walk in out crooked toilet. People think you're stupid. All right, guys, we're almost to the finishing touches. These are called beauty caps. So you just give it a little rock there to make sure it's not. Yeah, you gotta like feel as it's coming down, like it's getting that wax push. If you don't feel that, you're gonna have fluid all over your floors. So this kit came with a bottom nut. You see that? Kind of cool. So now these ones right here, they even have it, it says this side up. That's because this holds this cap on. And that's the beauty caps that cover those ugly ass bolts. So, put that on. Don't go super crazy with this, these you guys either. These are brass bolts. They're just to keep that wax ring tight. So once they're pretty much taunt, you're good. So just hand tighten those? I only hand tighten these. If you go with a wrench and you try to tighten these, you'll crack the ears like we did on the other toilet. Mm. Remember how that ears cracked off? Yeah. That's what you'll end up doing. Now ideally, your toilet shouldn't rock. See how it's not rocking? Sometimes you might have uneven to tile. So what you need to do is get these things called toilet shims and you shim the toilet so it doesn't rock. Don't try to tighten the perfectly flat porcelain down to a crooked, tile floor because you'll just crack it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So get it taunt and if it's still rocking, you're going to have to use shims. Luckily enough, my tile guy was really good. So Do they sell toilet shims specifically for that? They sell toilet shims specifically for that. Gotcha. And my water line is just a Kent hairs too short right now. <laughs> That's funny. Let me go see if Brad Zone got an actual water line. All right, see what we got. Oh. Yeah, but I don't think it's not a toilet line. Toilet lines have, oh. Oh, but I don't think this is the right size. Size. Oh, that's part of my life. We can look. But I think the other side is 3 eighths. No more lines, that was it. Let's go see, this is the right length, except for that side is big. This is a half inch, and the one that I have in there is three eighths. Oh, lucky again! So, like I was saying, I'll show you guys this. So let's see here, this, the water line is not, so that's a little, your, this toilet's a little higher than. A little, little, little taller. I like that, I like tall toilets. Yeah. So, um, these are half right here. And then this is like your water hose. That's the same as like the water hose out front. Mm -hmm. So 
I've seen people, I've gone to a house before where like the water in the wall wasn't working. So they took the water hose from the front yard and rolled it through in here <laughs> and put it to the toilet. I was like, that's a genius. You guys are awesome. Booyah. Put that behind there so we don't have to look at the ugly hose. Damn, Brad Zone's been pretty good to us these days, you know? Brad Zone's been killing it. Killing it, though. Now this is probably the only one that I'll use a wrench on, is this guy down here. So what about the tightening that water hose? The top part, I only tighten with my hand. So up here, I'll just tighten with my hand and then I'll go ahead and crack it and see if I got any leaks. And I can hear it filling, look up in there. Yep. So now we're gonna do the toilet adjustment, which is means we just wanna make sure that it fills up to like right around here, right? This fills and shuts off, and then when we flush, it continues. So one of the bigger problems I had on this toilet was that it took forever to refill. And it took forever to refill because of hard water. Our um, hard water here is really bad. Uh, so it, it, it screws up all of the, the valves. So another reason why they put these china caps on is for cleaning, so that when you're cleaning around the toilet, it's nice and easy. It's like, you know, it's more cleanly looking. Mm -hmm. So let me go grab the lid, throw this trash away. Uh, no, it, it depends on like what the style of toilet is. Some of them have flush valves, pressure valves, pressure flush valves, dual flush systems. Bidets. Bidets. <laughs> All of those we implicate as different pricing. So the water line's pretty good. Our fill line thing right there is pretty good. So if we poop or shit, it's gonna float. It's not gonna be in not enough water. We're gonna hit it and we're gonna let go. Solid, good, refilled, already back up. So all you do is just open the water valve and it does the same. You don't have to adjust yeah. anything in here. No, there's adjustment. It's right here on this arm right here. See, it says Phillips. And that's to see how much water you want in the tank. Mm. So you can actually, so when this thing flows up, it stops the water, right? Yeah. You could raise this thing up higher and get more water in your tank. But all you're gonna be doing is spending more money to flush. So, we're done. Voila. Toilet's installed. I gotta take a shit. So who's breaking this thing in? Uh, Kent? <laughs> <laughs> we should send a picture to Gary. Look, bitch, don't break this. <laughs> I had to replace my water heater and my toilet in like the last six months, and I'm like, damn, this was really easy. 